Hello and welcome everyone to the Engineers Ireland uh, webinar on starting your career in civil engineering. Um, thanks very much everyone for joining us this evening. My name is Michal Gallagher and my contact details are here below if you want, want to get in contact. Um, just to say that this is part of the Graduate Engineer uh, Summer Series where we're hosting a webinar every week for our uh, engineers who are graduating in the class of 2021 uh, to tell them all about graduate membership and to help them uh, start their career in this strange and unusual time that is coronavirus. Um, if you're a graduate engineer who's watching this recording um, or you um, are here with us live, just a reminder that you can log this as a CPDR. You just log into your profile and you uh, go into the uh, log uh, CPD. Uh, the reason you need to do that is you need to keep an accurate record of your CPD um, and you need to declare 35 hours every year. So just a little reminder. Um, for our student members, this is how your profile might actually look if you've not yet transferred over to graduate membership. Um, hey, look, there's a free graduate membership there waiting for you. So don't delay, log in and apply for your free graduate membership. Um, it's always great to get something for free. Uh, this is to show the discounted uh, rate that you'll be put on for the next couple of years. And Engineers Ireland is offering a 700 euro discount uh, during this time because um, we're really invested in your long-term professional development. So if you have any questions about this, uh, the team email there for the membership team is below. And yeah, in the comment or in the description section of the video, I'm going to drop a link where you can um, ask questions about this event. Uh, the, the presenters will also be able to kind of answer your questions and I'll be in that forum. Um, so just a reminder that that's another facility there. And yeah, within this forum, uh, we have our full line of speakers who are coming up. Um, so yeah, we're really delighted to have uh, three fantastic speakers and contacts. Us and I know each other from uh, TU Dublin, uh, one of the uh, renowned graduates uh, from the School of Civil Engineering. And uh, he's also speak previously spoken at a uh, Bolton Street event, given insight uh, into uh, a beer and pizza night, which was uh, great fun um, to talk to the class. I think that was the class of 2020. Um, so I was handed over to you. Uh, Hi everyone. Hi. Thanks, Michal. Thanks, Brian. Uh, that was a really good presentation. Uh, I'm. I hope I'm. I'm. I'm prepared well because I was a bit of short notice. So uh, I hope I'll do a good presentation. Like I, I was thinking of starting it was saying that every end is a new beginning, and your my knowledge that the listeners and the audience are graduates from this year. Uh, I'd say be ready for an interesting trip in your life and a journey and be always open for opportunities. But let me, let me give you small, uh, intro about myself. Uh, I was born in Iraq in 1994, uh, finished primary school and secondary school, uh, in, in there. And I came to Ireland in 2009. Uh, been done, finished leaving cert in, in CCC in Castlenau Community College and then joined the DIT in, two, in 2000, end of like 2012 and finished, joined the civil engineering course, the, the, the diploma, the level seven course in civil engineering and I took a career break in 2016, 2017 worked in APEC surveys, and then I went back to DIT or TUD uh, to continue my level eight. And while I, when I graduated, I've, I've decided to do work and study and I've as well joined Trinity as well and uh, finished a post-grad diploma in there. Uh, that's a really quick one. Um, was hoping to add some nice pictures, just like just like Brian about my interest, but I didn't get time. Uh, and then I about about career and work, where I started and uh, where I am now. I, from the bottom there in 2015, I worked with Mulholland Consultant. It was a consultancy service. It was a small office, uh, and then worked in Apex for a year. Apex Surveys, which is a land surveying company. And following that, I, while doing the level eight course, I was working with, not on a full time, sorry, not a part time. Uh, it was just a summer work with Waterman Moylan and 
there's medium-sized consultancy. And following my graduation, I've joined Dublin City, uh, South Dublin County Council uh, as a graduate engineer. And up until now, where I'm doing my presentation from, I'm in the building. Uh, so, and hopefully I'm in, in the process of moving to Dublin City Council. So about, about working in engineering, it's been such an interesting journey. There is, there is a lot of obstacles and challenges, but every obstacle and challenge will, is a test of how you approach everything. Uh, engineering will always shape you differently than any other job will will shape you into all the like depending on the work you do you will you will be you'll be developing skills and these skills will will feed back to your personal life uh, the way you structure your life the way you plan things uh, and self discipline that's the, that's the biggest thing i would talk about uh, when I was working model consultant, it was my first ever job. Uh, it, I was always quiet. Uh, I was wondering why am I quiet? Being, why, why I've been very quiet there like for a couple of months. It's just the amount of information you're absorbing. It's, it's different than college. It's, it's not good. It's not necessarily, sorry, it's not necessarily bad. It's a good thing. Uh, that means you are doing the right thing. It's it's answering back to questions quickly doesn't mean you have the right information. That's what I've learned. Uh, always listening will 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 feed in, uh, and you will get a lot of a lot of uh, knowledge from listening, especially at the start. Uh, when I was working in model consulting, we started. I started working on small structural designs. Uh, four houses. We were doing beams, for example, uh, and foundations. Sometimes we do some sort of a management for the design and consultancy work. And during these, when I was working there, I did not understand the concept of a drone. Like, what's what's a drone there for? Like, and the different types of drones. And then I had the opportunity to work with Apex Consultant, where we we're doing the surveying, which feeds back to the consultant. And you're doing the drawings yourself, you're surveying them. And then following that, moved up to, to Waterman Moylan, where I'm back to the consultancy service. And you're seeing how the surveying guys and the other consultants are working. And then you start to form a picture and an image and a map of how the industry is functioning. Uh, and where is the role of an engineer and where, what's the role of your education and what you've learned in college and in the work you're doing. Uh, and then from that point, after getting the first job and the second job, the, learns, the lessons that you will learn will make you make a different decision on choosing the path and what you want to do with your future career. It's not necessarily that, oh yeah, I have a plan now, I'm going to do that job and work for a consultancy or work for local authority or wh whichever company. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stay there forever. Always something else will, will come up and it, with, it will attract you. Uh, and then moved in 2018, I moved to Dublin, South, South Dublin County Council. It's been a great journey uh, with a lot of challenges, like especially with COVID, with staff shortages, we're ending up to do heavy work. And that not necessarily a bad thing. I've 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 boosted my learning curve massively, and throughout the last few years, I've 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 formulated a great idea where I want to head in the next few years, uh, which which is something really really important that you know where you're heading. You always need to have a goal, and that goal will 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 always be tied uh, to, to sorry would be tied to your plan. Uh, and from from having a goal, you will be able to make her a plan. It's never like, oh yeah, I have a plan. I'm going to work with it. A goal is always a good thing because obstacles will always come. 
come towards us like and uh, difficulties and the goal is always the thing that we are chasing and will make make any obstacle easy to go through um some people were saying that it is a crazy idea that you're doing college while doing work during COVID. uh it was very simple like it's not being able to see people during COVID was going to be a crazy thing like not being just being crazy like so the best thing is to get distracted with something productive and useful so doing the course just helped boosting my my learning curve at the same time getting distracted from not being able to see people not being able to socialize a lot uh, not being able to do my summer trips and i'm sure everyone is on the same boat uh, and finally always keep moving forward and i've decided to as well to apply for different jobs and see a uh, different prospect and luckily enough uh, i got an opportunity with dublin city council and i'm hoping to move but that's not the final goal the goal is way way down the line it's i'm still walking towards it uh be now I, i'll move i'll move to the lessons learned learned sorry it doesn't it looks a bit crappy uh but i'm i was trying my best uh there's always a saying that i, I always believe in like work hard and play hard uh and then be open to opportunities, listen carefully, communicate clearly. Uh, one of the things I, I, I would advise uh, on doing is doing this type, of, this type of presentations and always not be afraid of speaking in front of people. That's a really, really, really important thing. Uh, the amount of things you will learn from it and the amount of skills and and things you will learn is 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 indescribable like i can't describe it easily like um but you will always it's it's the essence of it is you is that you're literally facing the demons that are inside you are and facing all the all the things you're scared from uh, i remember the first presentation i gave was with with the access program in, in in TUD and that was first that was in 2015 back then my English was not uh, good and at the same time it was in front of 300 students that wasn't easy but I've learned a lot from it that it, just be driven go through the obstacles and don't be scared from anything and just put yourself in that position and that situation and just see how you react. Uh, our instinct would always take us to survive and you would figure out a way. Uh, in the presentations, maybe it's, you will not do well at the first one, but the second one, the third one, you will do good. Uh, the same principle follows and goes with applying for a job, uh, taking on a project taking on a big task, doing something for the first time that you've never done before. Uh, jobs are not supposed to be easy, but it's, it's always a choice that we make that it is easy or it's not easy. It's, it's a choice that we will make to choose that I'll make it easier for myself. And it's always about communication uh trying to and it's not about you communicating the point it's understanding what's the other person trying to pass what what's the message the other person trying to pass to you and the same principle of communicating with people is communicating with the project uh maybe that sound doesn't sound clear or doesn't maybe for some people it doesn't make sense but understanding the project you're doing from start to finish is a way is some form of your communication with the project, it's you're trying to understand your your position there and, and, and your scale and that project and your impact on it and what you will be doing uh, in any job or project. Uh, being open up to opportunities, you will while you're working, you 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 could get offered, for example, the the to, to participate and join Engineers Ireland. 
uh, which is something I really recommend. Uh, you will be exposed to a lot of uh, contacts. You will be exposed to a lot of things that in, 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 in the industry, uh, such as like I wasn't aware before that there is committees for, for example, uh, ESB, for example, like while I'm, I'm, I'm a civil engineer, like graduated from civil engineering in the IT, uh, yet there is industri like an industrial engineering uh, committee in there. There is civil engineering, geotechnical, architects, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe uh, Michal could, could confirm that. Uh, and you will expand your network. These networks will open different gates, gates to you. And you will, throughout going through these, you will learn a lot about yourself. Uh, and always listen carefully. Uh, listen is, is, is the first half of the game because each person is going to show you a spectrum uh, about whatever, like uh, in the job that probably you weren't exposed to. And only listening will, will, will open that gate and you will be able to understand a lot uh, about yourself and about the job. Uh, I'll apologize again that my presentation is not well structured and I did not have great key points. I literally done this presentation in less than, I guess, in a, less than an hour. Uh, I hope I did good. And I thank you very much for listening. And I will look for, for your questions. And I think I'll pass it back, pass it back to you, Mihail. Thank